So this is part two of the planet characteristics and habitability video. Um, again, we're looking at what characteristics of a planet might influence whether or not it's habitable or not. And again, we're talking about two types of situations. How might these characteristics influence finding life on a planet and how they might influence if we're transporting Earth life to another planet. Now the first characteristic is composition of the planet or what it's actually made up of. What are the elements and the minerals that are part of it? Now if we're talking about finding life on a planet, we want to have a planet that's very similar to Earth. It might have a very similar composition or you know, very similar minerals or elements on it. Now if we're talking about transporting life to another planet, we have a little bit more wiggle room, but we're still looking for general things like it being terrestrial and rocky. Now gas planets are kind of a tough sell because they are so different. There's a lot more technology that would have to come into play if we're going to transport life from Earth to a gas planet. Daily rotation is the amount of time it takes for a day to happen on a planet. And this is less of a characteristic that we need to be concerned about, both in the situation of finding life and of transporting life. If we're finding new life, the life on that planet will already be adapted to that situation, and so there won't be much to you know, concern for that. If we are transporting life from Earth to another planet, um, then there is a, a slight concern, but not anything that technology might be able to fix or simulate life on Earth. If we are looking at axis tilt, this is how much the axis of the planet is tilted based on the horizontal plane of the sun. And if we're looking for life and also if we're finding life on a planet, this is less of a concern, um, but it does lead to the seasons and is directly tied to the seasons on Earth. And it does allow for the variations in life that we see all across the globe. So it is an important thing to consider, but it's not a you know, make it or break it deal if the planet doesn't have seasons just like ours. If we look at orbital period, which is the amount of time it takes for a year to happen on a planet, this is one of the least important characteristics of all that we've considered. Um, this is because it doesn't really matter how long a year is for the life on that planet. And so again, that's why compared to all the other ones we're looking at, this one's very, very unimportant.